So, hello and welcome Aquarians. As I sat down after having to reach over to switch it on, my weird mind saying, Aquarius, you know, this is somewhere to render and notorious. There. <laughs> and in my case, it was Aquarius. It's better than singing, this is the age of Aquarius, which I sometimes do, right? As you can see, I'm in a really weird mood. Um, <laughs> long may it continue. <laughs> you are watching Thomas the Tower reading with myself, Thomas Yannick. My guest this month is Kyra Shaw. I will leave her contact details in the description box. You are watching your general reading for December 22. Now, December is the last month of the year, as you know, <laughs> and it is the 12th month. And the number 12 is one and two, one and two is three, three is the number of progression. So, and since we're moving into a stronger year, the first thing I should say to you <clears throat> is whatever happens, it happens because it has to. That is the energy that December affords us. It's not about um, feeling sort of sorry for yourself. Should this be a month where you feel lonely because of the festive season, if you should be alone, if that makes sense. Um, just understand that it's just a festive season, right? If that makes sense. And, and, and there's life in it and life continues, if that makes sense. Um, it's just what I'm getting for, for Aquarians is you are the sign of the water bearer. You are by default a giver. And sometimes when you actually can't give, that in itself can make you feel low. And so how, how about you give to yourself, right? Because you can do that. It's just what I'm getting for you is to embrace whatever is coming um, rather than being, it's not annoyed. It's, it's more like I'm a, it's a bit of a damper. Where you feel like I'm a bit mm. sad about everything. Nothing really, everything works and nothing works, if that makes sense. So the energy that I'm getting is, is about, um, it's, it's okay, but it's not fulfilled. Right, that's the energy that, that, that we get here uh, for Aquarians. Um, let's just see where, where we're going. Here's the overall energy before we then go into your emotional core. And then lastly, we look at opportunities. It's all very straightforward. So here's the overall energy for the month of December 2022 for the sign of the water bearer. The 11th sign governed by the 11th house. This is Aquarius. Uh, first card that I pulled was change in direction. Um, a lot of times um, when I got this, oh, if I'm honest, I'm very much getting that there's kind of like new opportunities coming your way. I'm getting it's very much kind of like work related, if I'm honest. Um, it's gonna be maybe you were going for a promotion or something like that, or you're looking for like a completely new job in a completely different sector, maybe. But there's there's going to be a change for you, and it's going to start put into motion during this month in December and it's going to completely fill you up with just love, joy and happiness. It's a very, very wonderful change for you. It's something that you've been wanting for quite a long time and maybe it's going to come as a little bit of a surprise as well. Maybe you're not quite expecting it just yet, but it's very much, I'm getting a lot of change for you and I think it's going to start putting into play as December falls on out. And um, the next card that come through was ask so it's i'm getting normally when this card comes through it's about like connecting with your guides and speaking with your guides but i didn't get that i'm very much it's you need to lean on people around you a little bit more that's why i says you are very much givers but it's okay for you to give but sometimes it's nice for you to also take it's almost said you can give to yourself and maybe start leaning on the people that are around you kind of like ask them for help ask them for advice um <clears throat> ask them for support as I say a lot of the time when I get this card it's to do with asking your guides for guidance but I'm very much getting it's just lean on the people around you for money so they're to support you and finally it was go for it so you've been manifesting which is excellent that's what we like to hear um, and the universe has heard and they will be answered so it's very much kind of like if you've been stumbling over something then you're kind of like oh I'm a little bit hesitant I'm not 100% sure what to do, how to go about it, the change is coming and it's telling you to quite literally go for it, grasp it with both hands, there are wonderful opportunities coming your way. Thank you very much. And when it comes to emotions, you, um, the, the message is to stay focused, right? Um, as you already heard, there's, there's, there's changes coming and they feel great. And so when it comes to your emotions, number one, the guides are saying if you stay focused, on what it is you would really like to see happening, it's a better chance to make that happen. <clears throat> when it comes to reflecting on 
how the year went because that's what I'm getting for always. I feel obviously this is for December, but you probably already started end of October to think like oh this year was, mm. and then this year is oh my god this year is it. It feels like sounds horrible when I say it a bit, but you're rambling on <laughs> about the year, and it is not helpful. It is what it is, and it sounds a bit weird. It's also a really weird saying. It is what it is, you know. It's, but, it's not, but the point is, what I'm getting is, is that sometimes happened, you happened. you reiterate on things that weren't working. So anyway, on you uh, for your emotions, what the guides are asking you is literally to meditate, um, because you're good at it. You by default, because you are the water bearer. If that makes sense, right? So there's there's um, there's a lot of renewal in your energy. Um, and while they're not asking you for being in solitude, if that makes sense, because obviously they ask you to go for stuff, right? <clears throat> you will at least so need some time to recuperate from when too much is going on all at once. And again, Aquarius, and you know that because you are that sign, you tend to not necessarily know when to slow down. So normally when you then feel tired, that's when you are sort of being forced to slow down because you just like to give. And so this is something that Aquarians do by default. And um, so this is something where you have to just watch yourself and understand, you know what, it's, it's Christmas months, right? And I'm going to treat myself um, to a nice movie and to an extra piece of cake, you know? Some babies in my hot chocolate. Yeah, yeah. That's a good <laughs> actually. <laughs> but you understand, it's about it's about why why not overindulge? As long as you don't do do it every day, it's like it's like um, making yourself know or, or make or make it known to yourself that isn't that awesome? I have the opportunity, right? Because I have a kettle, <laughs> you know. Exactly. You know. Uh, so the point is, um, is being good to yourself. But ultimately, um, your emotional core this month is not, sounds wrong, but it's not meant that way, is not super important. They ask you to be proactive in the areas that Kaiva said, right, and stay focused. Everything else will take care of itself. All you need to do is when you feel it's get a bit much, um, go within and, and answers will come, right? So that was that, Aquarians. And now lastly, we will look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of December 2022. I don't know if I said this already or not, but please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. I love my coffee, you know. Yeah, I love coffee. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, let's just have a look at, uh, anywho, <laughs> let's have a look at the... Um, Opportunities for the months of December 2022 for your sign of Aquarius. So, um, to be the first card that I pulled out was child. Um, I'm not getting that you're going to have like new babies. I'm not getting that, but a lot of time when this card comes up, it symbolizes <coughs> new beginnings. There's new life coming. I mm. um, renewed energy, as Tom Thomas said, and it's very much saying the opportunity for this new beginning is here for for you to take. Essentially, it's all there waiting for you. You just need to accept it and be like, okay, right, I'm ready for this change to come into my life. I'm ready for this new beginning. I'm ready for this new challenge. And as soon as you like, you put that out there, they'll start coming into you like into leaps and bounds. It will be so oh, wonderful. Is not a word. I don't know why I was going to say that. But plentiful is what I'm trying I'm, to say. I'm the I'm the foreigner. I can't help you with funny words. <laughs> you two just made a word up. <laughs> Yeah, it just symbolises new beginnings. So the opportunities for December is new beginnings for you. So I'm really excited for you, Aquarius. Yeah. You're going to have a good 23. And you know, I have the weirdest guides. Because when you said that um, about child, my guides started singing new life, new life. <laughs> and they sang it like this, new life, life. So this is one of the very old, um, from the very, very first album that Depeche Mode came out with in 1981. That's how old I am. I bought that album for my own money. And ever since, I have been a big fan of Vince Clark and of, of Erasure fame. And, but they literally sang, new life, new life. <laughs> so I know what I will be listening to in the not too distant future. Mm. Right? Anyway, we're not sponsored by Depeche Mode or any of these things. I just share with you because once <laughs> I have a song in my head, it keeps rattling. Right? All right. Um, have a lovely Christmas. Um, have a lovely uh, festive season. Uh, enjoy the the um, the new well, 
the, going into New Year, there's a Muslim term, right? Um, how do you call it? New Year's Eve. That's the word, right? Yeah. Here we go. In Germany, we say Silvester oh. as New Year's Eve. We, we say Neujahrsabend, which is New Year's Eve, but it sounds wrong. So we always call it Silvester. And I have no idea, because to me, it's just a name. It's just a stupid name. Wasn't there a roadrunner <laughs> kind of guy? Hey, Silvester! That's like Sylvester Sloan, no offense. Was a, I think he was a cat, wasn't he? So Something like this, yeah. Uh, so, um, <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what this now comes into my head of all, <laughs> of all things. But it's probably it's because, hard, yeah. yeah, it's obviously, it's obviously um, Christmas month, so, so, so that's probably hard, why. Yeah. How weird. Anyway, because we're weird, we probably just better end that video here. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> See you in the new year. Right? And enjoy the new life. New life. <laughs>